Well, hello. We're here today. I'm going to show you some uh, little trick about turning pens. No, this is not a pen turning video. There are thousands of it, not a CA. There are thousands of it. I'm going to tell you because when I buy some of the slimline uh, pens, I don't like the center ring. It's too small to me. I guess hence is the uh, name on the on the slim line, but it's too small. And wood to wood, I try that, you know, I make it thicker at the center, but it not always works the way it's supposed to. And I don't like it too much. So what happened is that I purchased some little round bars of brass and I'll show you how I turn it into rings whatever size I want to. And it's very easy with a wood lathe because I don't have to have a machine lathe, a metal lathe to do this. But uh, it works wonderful if you want to make your own center rings. You can make some more stuff. It, with a wood lathe it's a little bit more complicated. But to make the center rings all you need is a wood lathe. Let me show you. The, uh, the bar clamp into the wood lathe. Uh, I don't need the tool rest. I took the tool rest. I put a stout bit out here. Now, you can use to tend the center, to mark the center on that. You can use one of these, these uh, starting bits uh, that you can get anywhere in the machine tools or uh, even in the Harbor Freight you have these, these things. But not everybody has it and nobody has it handy. The problem is with a long small bead, it'll, it'll flex. You need something that won't flex. So just to try and show you, I put a stout bit out here. It's uh, ooh, about uh, 3 eighths of an inch, a little bit bigger than 3 eighths of an inch. So we'll, we'll show you how to to mark the center, just to mark the center, I turn the, the lay, and I use a tail stock with a with a Jacob's chalk to uh, to mark the center. Once the center is marked, I can take that bit. Sorry about my arm in a way. Take that bit out. And I put a bit. That is exactly the size of the brass tube. On the outside of the brass tube. So you bring that. You don't have to be touching, but it doesn't hurt anything. So once the center is marked, that bit, if you see how length of that bit, probably be wandering. So, once it starts on that diameter, it's, it settles down. So you now you drill the hole that will be the exactly the same size as the outside of the brass tube you glue into the inside of your stock, your blanks. That's good enough for now. Now we have a drill. Okay. Now you, if you want to, this step is not necessary, but if you want to adjust a little bit the, the circumference, that's about a half an inch or a little bit smaller than a half an inch. But you can put your, uh, your uh, tool rest
you can put your tool wrist in there and turn it anywhere you want to and I'll show you how I have different tools to do it. I even have some tools with it. I'm going to use my uh, vice grip. Oh, I have to readjust it. I adjusted it for my gouge. And that doesn't work yet too good without ruining the gouge. But I'm going to turn it down a little. Okay, let me take it down a little bit. Maybe out there. A little bit more. Well, the cutting edge is about halfway. Yes. So now... You can turn... If it shatters a little bit, just change the angle. Okay, I turn it down. Let me turn it down a little bit more in the front. All right, you turn it down as far as you want to. And you see it comes very shiny, no problem. You can even shine it even more with your regular CA glue. Uh, shiner, gloss polish. The, the last uh, things you do with a CA glue, you put a little rag out here. Let me show you. So, you shake the the polish, make sure it's all all the particles. You put a little bit on the on the rag. And you polish it. Kind of lift up the RPMs a little bit. See all that black? Is that the brass is polishing? Okay, look it. Huh. Now, all you have to do is split it whatever you want to. To split it, I just take this off. Don't need it anymore. I bring this slightly in, so that way when I finish splitting it, and it won't fly away and I never find it again. You can cut it anywhere you want to, any thickness you want to. Now this 
thing is a little bit dull. Let me get the other one. there's your your new center for your uh, pen and it will fit perfectly snug into the tube and to the uh, transmission and then you won't have any more problems to make the thin uh, the thin line plane the uh, thin line uh, pencil and uh, pens Here is one There's a little bit thicker and I put a line in the middle. I'm going to take close-ups. So this is a, just a bar. Now there is a twist to this. I'll show you why. Let me cut this remaining off. can do. Uh, first of all, I have these things right here. There are two little wheels. They are serrated. And uh, this will put uh, a mark in the, in the tube. So what we do is to put a, a cross hatch. cross hatches. I'm going to drill this little hole a little bit deeper. Cross hatches. If we 
curse hatches on the on the uh, on the stock. You can buy all kinds of different things out there. Let me see if I can zoom you in. Can't see. You can see too good out here, but I'm gonna have to take a picture with a steel camera. It doesn't want to focus on the cross hatches. It's too. It's too small the cross hatches to focus on it. Okay. Now you gotta design link. You bring the tailstock a little bit so it won't fly away. And you cross it, you cut it at the desired height. Then I remark the cross hatches so that way. Here we are. It's another center band with cross hatches. Now this side is a little bit hard. I mean, and so I do what I do. I just get this file. A fine file. And I fix it. and you get your center perfect center with a cross hatch let me take a picture of these things this cross hatch and those are the rings that i made so that way you can see it better <laughs> 